Hey everyone, this is a video course on CodeSense.js in which we will look how to build end to end tests efficiently and in flexible manner using CodeSense.js as a testing framework and Playwright engine as a driver to run those tests in browsers. So we will take a look from basic uh, features of CodeSense.js and go uh, slightly to advance them because we will be implementing tests for real web application that actually requires those tests to be built. Uh, we have chosen CodeSense.js because it's very easy to start, it's simple to juniors, you don't even need to understand JavaScript fully to start writing those tests, and your tests will be readable even to your managers. So what is our task and our goals for this video course? My personal goal is to build tests for test management system Testometeo, which was developed by our team and currently requires some end-to-end -end tests to be actually written. So this is a real-world scenario and real applications that you can access today and try to uh, use it as your test management system for automated and manual testing. So it's a good idea to do it right now. Go to uh, Testometeo and check how you can work with different tests in written in Cypress, Jest and others uh, testing frameworks. So we start with copying uh, uh, code, create code JS command from uh, the website and uh, running the install. So you see this pretty message and then you will need to wait for some time to make the installer uh, install all. So when CodeSafeJS was installed, uh, we should initialize it in a folder where it was installed. So for my case, it's a test E2E folder because I want to keep my test separate from unit tests and integration tests, which were developed in other language. So I start with CodeSafeJS init command, which starts a setup wizard. It asks us simple questions like where to locate our tests, uh, which engine to use to run them. Sure, we will use Playwright, but it's not the only option. You can use more classical web driver, Puppeteer and other uh, drivers. So where to store output, uh, which localization to use, it's very simple question, just answer yes. And uh, where to connect to the website. So I'm running my website at localhost on 3000 port. Should we see the browser window? Yes, we need it for development. And uh, the browser of our choice will be Chromium. Uh, which feature we will test first? Sure, as for every application, it will be a login functionality. Uh, it will be saved and log and test file. And that's it. The setup wizard has finished and created lots of files for us that we can see in Visual Studio Code. So. Let's see concept.conf.js configuration file and you see it is populated with values we just provided to our installer. So we have Chromium browser, Playwright engine as we specified and localhost 3000 port. So uh, inside of our test we start with renaming our test to something more meaningful like logging in successfully to our application. Then we uh, open a website uh, on the main page and pausing execution to stop uh, the browser and look around to website to see how it looks. Go into terminal and using concept.js run command with debug flag to run test. Unfortunately, I didn't save the file, so it was very fast on this. But let's take another try and you see the browser is opened in incognito mode. So uh, I accidentally closed it, but let's try again. Uh, and uh, you see the login screen is shown. And uh, before writing something to Visual Studio Code, I can use terminal to check my comments there. So I will use this interactive shell to uh, try concept.js commands there. Uh, 
I use type command here. I uh, uh, type into the active selected input the name of my user that can log into the website. Actually, not the name, but email. And then I need to switch to the password field. It wasn't activated by default, so I need to use fill field command to specify the field. And I use password as a label of this field to select it and use the uh, very secured password which this user have. It's great because this is a local website not available to, for external access. I click sign in and I'm inside a web application. I see that I was signed in successfully. And uh, to check that I was not just signed in successfully, but uh, I see this message in uh, this yellow badge. I copy the ID of this uh, page, not ID, but class of this page, and improve my C command to check for this page as well. Cool, it passed. Uh, what should I check next? Probably that there are projects on the, uh, this side. Yes, was the project in H1? No. Was the project in H2? Yes, it's H2 header with projects. It seems that uh, we are done here, so we, uh, the test was almost uh, uh, passed. We go to the output folder to see live history file, copying all the commands we had, and replace the pause command with all the uh, commands we tried in terminal. We remove uh, duplicated commands, and you see how simple our test uh, has become. We start again our test to check. Unfortunately, I didn't save the file again. I need to save it. Try it again. And the test has passed in less than three seconds. This was pretty um, fast, you see, and pretty easy to get with the first test in ConceptJS. Thanks for watching. We will have more videos soon. So uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter, follow ConceptJS on Twitter, uh, join ConceptJS Slack, uh, install ConceptJS, write more tests, uh, be productive, be successful, love your mom and be happy.